good. Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today I wanted to share with you a what's in my bag, another what's in my bag. This is going to be a travel edition. I do have a trip coming up this weekend um, that I need to pack for. And so this is going to be my, um, my not my carry-on bag, but my personal bag. The personal bag that they allow you to shove up under the seat in front of you. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to just kind of share with you what I'll be taking with me. I love these kind of videos. I love what's in my bag videos because I like to see, uh, what people carry to make life more convenient. I like to see what kind of gadgets people use, you know, just stuff like that. So these are absolutely one of my favorite kind of videos to watch on YouTube. So I just thought I would share with you what I am taking. I'm traveling to Atlanta this weekend. Um, we are partnering with another theater company that is in Atlanta. We are uh, developing a high school monologue competition here in my city. And so we are going to um, partner with uh, this theater company who already has this program developed so that uh, we can bring it to our city. So that's the purpose of the trip this weekend. Uh, so let's jump right into the bag. So I've got this bag on Amazon. It is a backpack. Because I am packing pretty light, I'm only going to be gone for three days, um, actually two and a half. I wanted to make sure that I was able to have a carry-on bag with me and then um, this backpack will be my personal item that gets shoved up under the seat in front of me. So um, in this front pocket here, I'll start there. I wanted to have some snacks and gum and stuff like that easily accessible. So the first thing I've got in here is just a few cough drops. Halls are my favorite kind of cough drop. And I have already heard that the uh, allergy season in Atlanta has already started, that the pollen is out of control. I definitely suffer from allergy symptoms. So I want to make sure I have the things that will kind of ease those symptoms for me. Cough drops is one of those things. I have a couple of these uh, Good and Gather uh, Cashew Cranberry Almond Snack Mixes. A couple of those in here for the airport. And then I have a pack of gum. So that's what's in that front zipper. In this zipper, I've got mostly pens and pencils. This is my uh, boarding pass. I'm old school. I still print my boarding pass. Well, actually, what it was... Um, I'm flying Delta and I don't have the Delta app. I don't want the Delta app because I don't normally fly Delta. So I couldn't figure out how to get it on my phone. So I just printed it. And then I've got uh, pens and pencils and highlighters and things that I'll need for the weekend. So that's what I have in this pocket here. All right. I don't have anything in this side pocket here, um, but I could easily put some hand sanitizer in there. As a matter of fact, oh, I've got the hand sanitizer on the other side. Um, I'll find something to put in here. But on this side, um, I have my hand sanitizer that I wanted to be able to reach very easily. And then a packet of Kleenex. And that's all that I have in that side pocket. Okay, so for the main cavity, see, this is how it looks on the inside. All of my stuff is really stuffed down in here pretty good. I can say that I, I'm not a fan of how small this opening is. I really wish the zipper had gone down further um, to make the opening wider, but I bought it at the last minute because it matches my carry-on luggage. <laughs> By the way, my sister would have a fit if she knew how much animal print I was taking. <laughs> she talks about me so bad for that. But anyway, um, let me show you what I've got in here. So it, the first pouch that I'm taking out is what I'm calling my tech pouch. It's really just an old beat up makeup bag that still has makeup stains on it. 
um but this is where i'm going to house or this is where i am housing all of my cords for all of my devices um i have several earbuds i have my my airpods and then i have the traditional uh, earbuds that plug into the phone plug into the the charging port of the phone the wired kind and then i also have um the old school earbud with this kind of port and and this is what i'll use on my macbook and then um, i've got a portable charger i have a portable charger in here an extra iphone cord the block is in the wall right now and then i have this other little device for the hotel room um if I want to be able to plug multiple things, multiple cords into um, one charger, I can use this device to do that. I can plug this into the, the wall, wall mount or wall block, and then I'll have several different ports for charging different things. So that is what is in my tech bag. Um, next is another cosmetic case that I use for uh, personal items. Because I'm traveling, I'm away from home, you know, you never know what could happen. I should not need these items because I'm not currently on my cycle, but I like to bring them just in case. So I do have um, extra uh, pads, panty liners, um, feminine wipes, I even got some extra wet ones in here, but here's some um, feminine wipes. And um, on this side, I even have an extra pair of undies. That might be TMI, but that's how I roll. Um, next, I do have a package of uh, masks just in case I need them. I'm not even sure. I'm flying Delta and I don't normally fly Delta, but that was um, the, the organization that booked my trip. That's what they chose. So I don't even know if I'm gonna need these, but I have extra masks anyway. And I think I'm gonna want these on the plane anyway. Um, next I have, let me pull out these bikes. I have a series of wipes. So I have wet ones and I like the citrus scented ones. I have Clorox to go. And then I usually carry baby wipes, but I was in Target looking at the small travel size uh, packet of baby wipes and I was comparing ingredients to this one, which claims to be 99.9% .9 water. And the ingredients on this one just seemed a lot more pure. Um, so I'm going to use these instead of baby wipes for this trip. I like to have plenty of wipes with me. Um, because I'm traveling, I and I don't know the itinerary. So that's kind of stressing me out a little. I won't say stressing me out, but that's bothering me, me a little bit that I don't know the itinerary. So when I land... I don't know if I'm going to have time to check into my hotel and change clothes or if I'm going to have to go straight to the theater. I do not know what this weekend is going to <laughs> entail because I don't have an itinerary that's bugging the snot out of me. But anyway, in case I need to freshen up my clothing, I cannot stand smelling like outside. I don't know if you know what that smells like or know what I mean, but you know how when you've been traveling and you've just been walking from place to place and you've been having to go in and out of doors all day, sometimes your clothes can pick up, you know, just kind of an outdoor scent. I hate that. And so I, I like to travel with this um, Febreze spray so that I can spray my sweater or my coat or whatever it is that I have on just to freshen it up a bit. So that's what this is for. And then um, I like to travel with some type of um, Sudoku puzzle. 
um, just to kind of ease, you know, anxiety a little bit. I don't want to be sitting and scrolling on my phone because I'm bored and anxious. I would rather be doing something like working on one of these puzzles. So I like to bring some type of puzzle or activity with me so that I could be doing that instead of staring at a screen. I, speaking of a screen though, I do, I am bringing my um, iPad mini with me because I have a couple of books downloaded on here and I want to be able to read um, if I choose to do so on the plane. And then here are the items that I have to have bagged because they're liquid. So um, I have my cosmetic case here and I won't go through them, but this is my cosmetic case and because I'm you know, taking these things on the flight with me. I do have to have all the liquid stuff bagged. So just stuff like sunscreen, lip gloss, um, perfume, a couple of perfume bottles, um, some concealer, all of the stuff that, the, more lip gloss. How many lip glosses do I have? Oh, that's lip stain. But anyway, all the stuff that they make you put in plastic bags. Um, here's what that is for. And then, last but not least, is my wallet. And this is just a really simple coach wallet. I like it because it's so flat and easy to travel with. So, that is what I am taking on my theater trip this weekend. Um, oh, you know what else I wanted to mention? Where is it? <sighs> I wanted to mention these things too. I won't have these in my bag. I'll have these in my carry-on. But just because travel can sometimes cause a little bit of anxiety, I like to travel with the things that make me most comfortable. And so for me, that is some type of tea. And so I have some tea bags here, some sugar packets, some lime packets, um, just so that I can make myself a warm cup of tea when I need to, if I need to calm my nerves or just relieve any kind of anxiety or just, you know, just to feel at home as much as possible because I drink tea almost every day. So I wanted to bring my tea with me. The other thing I wanted to bring with me was a couple of coffee packets um, just in case. I don't know if there's going to be like a Keurig in the room, but just in case I want some coffee. Um, these are really easy to travel with. So I wanted to mention that. And then in this bag, to go along with all that stuff, I have my um, lemon packets and my honey packets. So I just wanted to mention that if you are traveling, try to bring things with you that make you comfortable and make you feel as much at home as possible. Um, and so for me, that is a good old warm cup of tea. So just wanted to mention that. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this What's In My Bag video. These are the things that I'll be traveling with this weekend. And I will probably insert some pictures. I know that I probably won't be able to take video because there are students involved in this event. Um, but I'll try to take some pictures and insert them here at the end. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.